Don't scratch. All my cats already oh, scratch it. Oh no. Here to Brussels. It's our second time here. We came here for Mary. <laughs> Mary. The one thing we wanted to do was to go to this chocolate store that we went to four years ago. This B&B is really nice in a great location, and there's a little kitty here named Mala, and he is such an ass. He is so mean. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, his name is short for asshole in Greek, but he's just very, very aggressive, but playful. So. He keeps trying to tear up all of our things, and we locked him out. And he, and he actually scratched on you. Yeah, mm. he, he would bite as well. So just a very, very mal-tempered kitty, but also very nice at the same time. It's just weird. We're about to head out in search of a little cafe to eat at, and then the rest of the afternoon after the chocolate store, of course, is to just get dinner and explore the city again because the weather is much nicer this time around. Last time it was rainy and a little bit um, gray in the sky, so today is just the best weather. We left our BMB, had breakfast together, and now we're having a short walk to go to our tour meetup location for the day. Throughout the rest of the trip, we're gonna do a lot of self guided stuff. And for our first full day, we kind of just wanted to have a guy drive us around and not really worry about getting places on our own. Just kind of preoccupied on an errand right now. day here in Bruges and we keep staying far behind the group because we want to take pictures the <laughs> whole group is up ahead very very big and we're gonna get back on the bus and make our way back to Brussels and have dinner yeah. fun bye bye
So we ask room service for a bowl and they give us this fancy stuff. Let's see if this works. Oh. Okay, it works. Mm.
If I get any of these, I would never want to use it because I'm such a hoarder. Look at this little... Well, he's not very little, but look at this dog! Right now I am working on editing my video to publish because I've got it uploaded, I pre-uploaded and then I'm gonna have Tyler finish it up for me because there's only so much you can do on a phone. So I wanna say a quick thank you so much to my love for helping me publish and do subtitles on my last vlog and then also this wee Wednesday, can't do it without you. Okay, back to noodles. found the car it took us like half an hour to park it because these streets are so narrow and I didn't want to block any of them so this is just a random little corner very slopey little village here I like this walk. relaxing at the B&B for the last three hours and now that it's almost eight we're gonna walk into the city and grab dinner and we're feeling like Vietnamese yeah very relaxed Still out there taking photos of Shipir the cat. And I'm just gonna start eating breakfast. I've already got bitten because I guess I didn't put cream on these certain places, so it's like right behind my elbow. We are in Avignon. 
on currently at the B&B and the plan today is still very loose since we have the car and all we need to do is be back by the car rental place at 6 when they close and make the train to Spain but in the meantime we can really drive anywhere which makes it really nice and convenient so I'm just thinking that we're gonna explore Avignon a little bit more because last night we walked around quite a bit after dinner and then definitely need to see that aqueduct is that what it's called or is it viaduct I'm pretty sure it's viaduct now the room is red themed kind of like my outfit this morning I am just trying not to itch my bug bites because there are a lot of mosquitoes on this block she's just finishing up something on her phone and then we are good to go <laughs> Oh, bonjour, madame. 